everybody to another edition of Dan's Grand Valley Layout. I believe this will be episode number 20. And uh, just a quick update this week. Got a few things done. Uh, not as much as I wanted to, but uh, definitely got a few things done. Got the train yard pretty much worked out. It's all uh, code 83. Got all my switches in and got all my uh, Caboose Industries ground throws in for all the switches and got the received anyway received the Walters two stall engine house kit uh, so that's here in the box and uh, gonna start building that maybe next weekend I did remove the front uh, two-door panels so that I could definitely be sure to gauge my tracks correctly. Um, it'll actually sit up a little higher because it has a base it goes on to. But this way, when I set up these tracks, I knew that it would be the right spacing. So uh, next step for that kit will be to uh, get it out to the paint shop and get it all painted up and then start assembling that. So hopefully by next update, um, I'll have that engine house sitting right here, the two tracks going to that. Now, uh, I've got, I dug up these power poles that I had from my old train sets back in the 70s, uh, Tyco. Uh, a couple of them I just nailed down, like this one has transformers on it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I. I just set them along here. You can see they have bases on them. Of course, when I install them for real, I'll cut the bases off and they'll actually go into the ground. But you can see, I just kind of placed them along there. That one kind of turns and then they go, they pick up behind the industry there. And then I have one over here by the train depot. I figure they're getting power over there. Now remember, my layout is 1965. So the cars are old, they ran power cables, they didn't bury things as much back then, especially in little towns like this. So uh, they would have had uh, power poles and telegraph lines. So uh, let me know what you think about the spacing on these in the comments below. I may uh, put them somewhere else. I was thinking alternate places could be kind of between the tracks going to the town over there. Uh, don't, I, I don't really want them up in the mountain, but uh, kind of like over along there, maybe on the other side there by the little mountain, kind of where I have them, or maybe between the two tracks along there. So alternative. If you have any thoughts about it, put them in the comments and uh, we'll see. Maybe I need to have some more interspersed around the industries, kind of like I do here. Uh, so anyway, uh, oh, next thing I did, let me move this train here out of the way. I completed the interlocking tower and I went ahead and weathered it a little bit. And it's just sitting there for now, but uh, you could see it in some of the cab ride videos that I had uh, leading up to this. But uh, that's pretty much where it's gonna be there. They're overlooking the train yard. <laughs> so that was a fun build. Now, I did make a video, a step-by-step -step video of painting it and uh, assembling it and building it, uh, but it came out uh, 30 minutes long. <laughs> So I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see a 30 minute long video of me building this kit, basically laying it all out, spray painting it, uh, and then on the bench, cutting it all out, gluing it all together. So another question, if you guys want to see a 30 minute long video of me building that kit, or, uh, also, you know, also if you want to see me, uh, put a video together of building the engine house let me know and I'll gladly do it so uh, I just didn't want to put up a 30 minute long video of me building a kit unless people want to see it so oh almost forgot 
couple of new trees. Went ahead to uh, Hobby Lobby and got some more of these. Now, interestingly, the ones that are near the window are turning brown on the back side from getting the sunlight. Now, these haven't done that, but these are. So, uh, kind of cool though, kind of mimics nature where sometimes uh, if they're facing a coal area or a canyon or something, uh, they might turn like that. So, I thought that was kind of cool, but I've uh, got new trees here and here. Got some new trees there by the park. And where else did I put new trees? Oh yeah, over here, got some there. That one was there, these are new. Uh, right along here, that's new, new. So they're those kind of like those little birch trees. So uh, I really like those. I've got a few more to place around, but uh, that's kind of something new anyway. Anyway, um, that's where I'm at. Uh, been running trains, as you can see. Got some cab ride videos this week uh, for you. And uh, that's about it. So that's just a quick update. And uh, that's what I got going on. So uh, please give me those comments. Thank you, thank you to all you new subscribers. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share. And uh, we'll see you next update. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.